Thank you, Commissioner Garcia. Uh, normally, I have to pay people to say such nice things about me, so this was a nice change of pace. Um, but I would like to thank Commissioner Garcia, Commissioner Ellis, for their leadership on this. Um, as Commissioner Garcia has said, uh, Commissioner Ellis has been in the in the he's been in the arena a long time, uh, pushing equity and equality, and making sure that people who normally didn't get a seat at the table get invited. I mean, that's what we've done with this. Um, we've taken just a small bit of initiative and invited someone to the table who normally did not get that invite. And so what we've done today is a two-part process uh, to make sure that Unity is, is positioned to be a partner for us going forward. Um, they're going to accept a, an investment from us uh, through a CEDARS program, which will uh, allow them to, uh, to serve us as an investment uh, partner. But they're also going to get a small slice of the, our depository contract and be able to perform services for us in conjunction with our normal depository bank, Cadence Bank. Uh, Cadence has been a great partner to us as well through this process, and uh, they've just been phenomenal to work with. We're very fortunate to have a partner like Unity right here in our backyard. So when we reach out to, to find a minority-owned institution uh, to come and, and partner with us, this was the obvious choice. Uh, we're very, very lucky to have them right down the road. Uh, I think this is going to be a great partnership. I think this, this is going to be opportunity moving forward uh, for them to do not only this, but some other things as well. Uh, so I'm excited to be here. I thank you to, to the new president and CEO, Michael Pearson, and his staff. Um, also, to uh, I'd like to offer a thank you to our investment officer at the county. Uh, she was very helpful in doing this as well. Uh, but I was simply following the lead of our commissioners uh, and County Judge Lena Hidalgo as they've really made uh, equity a, 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 a priority for the county. Uh, one thing I was taught in grad school was, you know, don't tell me your priorities, show me your budget. And, and what that means is, is you, ha you have to put words into action. And just saying that we care about equity doesn't, doesn't do it. Uh, this is us putting our money where our mouth is and letting uh, not only our vendors and our partners know that we value MWB participation. And it is a, a different day at the county. Uh, since this commissioner's court has taken over, uh, priorities have changed and we are, are seeing a new day in Harris County. Um, so thank you for coming out today on this beautiful day. We appreciate your time. Uh, my name is, again, Dylan Osborne, the county treasurer, and any questions you have later, I'll be happy to take. What's that uh, amount? Call out the amount. Say it loud. Oh, they're doing a, a $5 million investment. $5 million. $5 million. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so as far as I can tell, this is a, a new thing for, for Harris County, and also for, I don't know that any, any county in Texas has, has that's taken right, this step. That's right. um, so what we are doing is not necessarily a, 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 a new product, but what we are doing is, is, is game changing in that we are simply making it a point to bring people to the table who normally do not get that invite. Um, all it took was a phone call. Any other uh, city or county out there watching, it was as simple as that. It's just making, making it a point to, to invite somebody in that normally doesn't get that invite. Uh, so thanks again to Unity Bank, to Cadence Bank for being great partners, and the Commissioner's Court for being leaders on this. Um, I'm proud to have worked with them on this, and, and I, I'm grateful to, to have this opportunity to give back to the community. So I'll turn it over to Commissioner Ellis. Thank you again. Thank you, Dylan. He, uh, he's done a great job. First, I want to say how proud I am to have Commissioner Garcia uh, as a colleague on, the, on these issues. Anytime I want to raise the issue, it's good to know that when I raise it, I won't be by myself because Commissioner Garcia is there. We had an issue come on Commissioner's Court the other day where one of our great hospitals was going to do a bond financing. And normally it's something called a transmittal that comes to commissioner's court. So we stopped it and said, we want to see the transmittal, but we want to make sure that there are black, Hispanic, South Asian, females involved in every phase of that transaction. So Commissioner Garcia, thank you for always being there. It makes a big difference, my brother. Thank, thank you. you so much. Dylan, you control this process. I want to make sure that's clear. Uh, in fact, if I, I, I happen to see one of my my debate coach's wife over here, Tom Freeman's wife, right? I can't tell. Is that you, Miss Freeman? Under the mask. That is you, right? Miss Freeman, is that you? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Yeah, I got it. She can hear pretty good. If I'm talking about money, she hear real good. I'll tell you that now. She can hear real good. Uh, but, but look, uh, it was Dylan's decision to do this. I want to make sure that's clear because I know a lot about Unity Bank. I know you're about to slip and say Riverside. Shows you how long Commissioner Garcia and I have been around. Well, but this bank is such a historic institution in the African-American community, the minority community, for people who, who could not go anywhere else to get a loan. And I happen to have had the privilege of serving on the board. I can't remember for how long, but it was when I was in the legislature. I served on the board. I think I went off before I went to Commissioner's Court. I cannot remember. 
uh, because y'all had trouble getting me to come to the meetings. And the regulators always said, we don't care who he is. He has to show up at the meetings. We don't want him dialing in. And I own shares in the bank. But I sold them because Dylan told me he wanted this bank to participate. We didn't want any question. So I sold my shares. Uh, but this is an important institution. This bank has been around since 1963. When people who look like me spoke Spanish, if they happened to be female and didn't have their husband to sign it, they couldn't go anywhere else to borrow money. Most of the black churches in our city, the older churches, had to get their loan from this bank. Uh, most of our black businesses, when they could go nowhere else, they went to this bank. So it's appropriate for us to do as much as we can to help this bank stay in business. I think there are only 17 or 19 black banks left in America. 17 African-American owned banks left in America. This is the only one in Texas. Our county attorney is here, Christian Menefee, give him a round of applause. And I, I pointed out I don't own any shares because he makes sure that we do it by the, by, by the letter of the law. But only 17 black banks left in America. When this issue came up, I know Commissioner Garcia was committed to helping unity. We have no Hispanic-owned banks uh, in Harris County right now. We might have one in Texas. I'm not sure. We, we have two in Texas. We have a female-owned bank that recently incorporated, but we want to open these doors of opportunity as much as we can. I called Dr. Lowall early this morning, who is where we'd like to be. It's, our, it's, it's on our bucket list, Commissioner Garcia. So he's in Cape Town. I called him about 3 a.m. this morning, and uh, the staff was saying, well, you know he was awake. I said it was 1 p.m. over there. It was 3 a.m. here. But he made the comment to me how appreciative he is because this is really a big deal. So, Commissioner and Dillon and County Attorney, it's a really big deal. And Dillon, you're right. We hope that it's a signal to our friends in Fort Bend County, Missouri City, other counties throughout the state of Texas to do what they can to help. When I couldn't get back to sleep after talking to Dr. Lawal, I just Googled in black banks. That's how I happened to see that number of 17 left in America. And I saw when some other city, a sports team came together to help a, a group of black banks, two black, black banks, go into a line of business that is not uh, as competitive as what most of these minority-owned banks traditionally do. So we're committed to doing as much as we can to help in any way we can. Next, I want to bring up Michael uh, Pearson. Uh, oh, you do have it. I was going to say, where's that blow up? He was being careful about the money. I told him, blow that thing up. We'll put that down there so they see the five million, and we'll take a picture. Just put it right down there. Don't let it blow down. Let him hold it. Let him hold it. Yeah, put it down there. Show the money. Uh, you, you know, uh, uh, Adrian, it was uh, Rob Pitts, the chairman of the Fulton County Commissioner's Court, who uh, did a press conference and they were holding up the check. And Dr. LaWall sent that to me on what they were doing in Atlanta. I sent it to Dylan. And then Dylan said, you know what, well, we'll have to figure out how we can do this as well. Uh, but it is important to get the word out. With only 17 black banks left in America, only one in the entire state of Texas. We ought to all do as much as we can. I'm glad community people are here because you ought to appreciate this bank. When you couldn't go anywhere else, this is the only place you could go. With that, I want to bring up Michael Pearson, the uh, president of uh, Unity Bank. Keep this from blowing away on you, Michael. And you can introduce your team, by the way. Thank you. Good afternoon. I would like to extend a warm welcome to Commissioner Ellis, Commissioner Garcia, Treasurer Osborne, other guests, and the media to Unity National Bank. We are delighted to be a part of this historic moment. Harris County is one of 254 Texas counties and is the first to establish a formal agreement with a minority-owned and controlled financial institution in this state. For that, we applaud its leadership, represented here today by Precinct 1 and Precinct 2 commissioners. And we also want to acknowledge and thank County Judge Hidalgo for her care, concern, and service for all Harris County citizens. 
The partnership of Unity National Bank and Harris County will continue and extend this bank's primary role and community-based mission. Unity Bank has been part of and has served this community for well over five decades. This institution will continue to focus on supporting economic development across this service area by providing financial products and services, including financial education and literacy to meet the needs of the community we are honored and trusted to serve. Unity has a commitment to be of service to all members of these communities, particularly those who have been historically and even now underserved, unbanked, and those who have faced barriers to accessing capital. As we work and partner together, we are unity strong. Thank you for being here and sharing this moment with us today. All right. Yeah, and uh, let, let us have uh, our county attorney, Mr. Menifee, share a few words. Oh, oh, thank you very All much, right, Commissioner. Um, uh, I'm extremely excited uh, to be here today uh, as your Harris County attorney. You know, I, the drive over here wasn't that long. I live just two minutes away from here. Um, and one thing that really struck me about what County Treasurer Osborne said was being intentional, right? Uh, in politics, we do a lot of talking. Uh, and so it, when you have the opportunity to put your money where your mouth is, uh, I think it's a noble thing that he did in leading this effort and starting this partnership with Unity Bank. And I'm extremely grateful to the members of Commissioner's Court, uh, Commissioner Garcia, Commissioner Ellis, and of course, Judge Hidalgo for taking on this effort. And, you know, as the legal department, um, we will always be there to, to strengthen this partnership, to make sure we're in compliance with the law, and you can guarantee, President, uh, that you have a partner in us. So thank you all very much for having me here today, and thank you to Treasurer Osborne and Commissioner's Court for their leadership on this effort. All right. And just to, just to wrap things up, look, I just want to reemphasize the points that have already been made. Um, when when I went to go bust tables at a restaurant, Commissioner Ellis, I looked over at the maitre d' and I liked the tuxedo he was wearing. And I liked how people responded to him. So I asked somebody, how do you get to be one of them? And he says, well, you gotta be a good waiter. Well, how do you get to be a good waiter? Well, you gotta get an opportunity uh, after you get through washing uh, dishes and mopping floors and picking up dishes off the table. Ultimately, the point is that no one gets to some of the best positions in society without having the opportunity, without having an advocate, uh, without having a willingness, an intentional purpose to create that opportunity, that willingness, and to be able to uh, step out in front of people who don't want to see those opportunities take place. And so I'm excited that today Harris County has yet once again created history, meaningful, important, intentional, and I do believe uh, life altering uh, history for those who have yet to be born, those who may be continue to be born here in the third ward community uh, but won't uh, have to succumb to a cycle of poverty because there will be an institution that I do believe will grow even beyond their current position because of this historic relationship that is taking place today. I won't go through statistics about the uh, the number of banks and, and things of that nature that, that are not here. But I will say this, that even today, Commissioner Ellis, when I walk into some of our most uh, more well-known, more prestigious banks, I can't help that I still feel like some people are looking at me. <laughs> not, not like I'm a prospect uh, customer, but sometimes with an eye of suspicion. The community won't 
receive that here at Unity uh, because this is a community bank for the community that is welcoming to the community. And so we, we all should celebrate this occasion. Thank you. Any questions? Estoy aquí para saludar el trabajo del comisionado Rodney Ellis, uh, la jueza del condado, uh, Lina Hidalgo, y uh, sin duda el trabajo de nuestro tesorero, Dylan Osborne. Hoy estamos anunciando una relación histórica con un banco comunitario, un banco que es uh, que los dueños son minorías. Uh, y un banco que ahora va a tener una relación oficial y sumamente importante con el más grande condado en el estado de Texas, el tercer más grande en los Estados Unidos, el condado de Harris. Todo por el liderazgo del comisionado Ellis y el trabajo del de tesorero uh, Dylan Osborne. Entonces esto es importante porque estamos abriendo las, las puertas de oportunidad las puertas de igualdad, las puertas de reconocimiento que debemos tener un banco comunitario como Unity, unidad, el banco unidad. Debemos tener un banco como Unity trabajando con el condado para asegurar que las puertas de oportunidad, las puertas de, de, uh, uh, la, de necesidades financieras para la comunidad, por la comunidad y dentro de la comunidad están este, a su alcance. Es lo que estamos anunciando hoy. Entonces, esto es una relación histórica y vamos a trabajar para asegurar que también estamos anunciando una relación con un banco hispano igualmente. Y vamos a seguir trabajando en ese paso. Gracias. Everybody understood that.